All right, let's talk about modal tunes for a minute. This is another way that young improvisers are often started. Uh, the modal tune chords last a long time. You only usually need one or two scales. You can't play any wrong notes in the scales. There's no fourth note of the scale and that kind of thing. So it can be attractive. Um, let me suggest some ways that it might be used. Um, let's use the tune So What or Impressions. Miles Davis wrote uh, on the Kind of Blue album, So What. Uh, D minor lasts for 16 bars, then E flat minor for 8 bars, then D minor for 8 bars. So it's an A, A, B, A tune. Uh, Train used the same chord progression to create a tune called Impressions. So I'm going to use that uh, chord progression for a minute here and uh, show you some things that I would have young students do on this. Other than, of course, learning the melody, they, learned that they need to learn the scale, they need to learn the chord, then we need to do, to do permutations on the scale. Uh, I think we'll go that far. Let me start the recording. One, two, one, two, Scale. three, four. <laughs> You can play a scale every two majors. It's going to take a little while of repeating that because we've got 16 majors, so it's going to take eight repetitions. That's okay. When it changes, then we've got to go up a half step to do the next uh, scale, Doran scales. There's play the chords in those keys. That's where the nine chord level, but in modal I might even go higher. Go up to, uh, go up to the eleventh even. And you could go to the, depending on the range of the instrument, you could go to the thirteenth. And then of course I gotta get it in the other key. So I want to know those chords. Second, now I want to do permutations on the scale chord. Permutations like you'd see in a close eight book or an Arben's book or Hannon book. So that was one, two, three, four. And I'm going to do one, two, three, one. demonstrate another pattern that could be used on this. Uh, let's do the uh, scale, the chords on each scale degree. Just try out. mixing up these things and put a little bit of rhythm with them. do 
fourths on the scale too, I forgot about that. You do fourths on the scale like that. We're gonna change here. Skipping a little uh, truth of different ideas. for a young student to keep their place on something like this. How do you know when it's coming? You can hear the drums lead in, you can hear the piano lead in, it kind of helps. You also get to develop kind of a sense of how long four bars, two bars, four bars, eight bars, you kind of feel that after a while. It takes a little experience to do that. <clears throat> so let me demonstrate making, let me I can create a loop here, uh, making the changes now because we've got half step changes that we need to be able to do between the D minor and the E flat minor. Let me just see if I can create a loop here where I can demonstrate those in a second. So I'm going to try to use this little place repeated several times to illustrate the, the things that are written in the book. Let me check the page number on that. Uh, uh, and if you don't have the book, it's a good idea so that you know what you're what we're doing here. Uh, these are just uh, sound representations. Okay, <clears throat> this is on page 160 of the book. I'd like to demonstrate those uh, little changes that I've written on 160 that show making those movements by half step and using common tones. We do have some common tones between D minor and E flat minor. So I'm going to use common tones with one or two changing to give you uh, a, an idea of how those sound. These could be uh, things that you give the kids to try, just one at a time, of course. Uh, let's see if this will work. That would be one example. We want to actually make these half-step movements so that the change of chords is clear, change of keys is clear. Let's try this one. Here's the second. That's the first one. There's a second one. Very simple. Let's go back again. Here's the third one. This is using these notes now. Okay, here's an example of the fifth one coming up here now. Went back farther than I thought, sorry. Here's the last example. Let's try this one more time. So we are trying to make those guide tones work. They, the, even a modal tune has these guide tones that need to move by half steps and we're trying to get those half steps to, to uh, make sense so that the clarity of the progression is really clear. Uh, so those are some things and then I would just I would just let it uh, roll and see what we can do uh, using rhythm, uh, combining all these different variations. I also like modal tunes for 
the ability to teach some compositional devices like question answer phrase structure uh, building to the to the uh, key change just form and structure kinds of things let me just mix up some of the things uh, that we've done so far and uh, try to demonstrate that at the same time some of the compositional elements that might be there or using a motif let me first uh, do the question answer and then I'll, I'll change into a motif one two three four <laughs> Question answer stuff. I guess uh, <clears throat> just illustrating some of the compositional things that might be taught in a modal tune as well so there's just a few thoughts to to consider when you're teaching modal things and uh, this is another viable way uh, of teaching young improvisers thank you <laughs>